actually talking to you from Losey Pool. Losey Swim and Spa Company, which we're actually going to be doing one of our many series that we're going to have for you as a how-to. And today's how-to is going to be Spa 101 Care with Bromi. On an initial first fresh fill, what you're going to be using is Mineral Clear. Mineral Clear is your sequestering agent, which is going to actually take the minerals out of the water, put them into suspension so that they're able to pass through the filter. After 24 hours, you're going to be pulling your filter from the filter well and spraying it down with cold water. After you've done sprayed it down with cold water, you've gotten rid of all the minerals that are in the filter, you place the filter back into the filter well, and then continue filtering. At that step, you're going to be able to add in your sodium bromide or granular bromine. A packet of granular bromine comes typically with our startup package that we have to offer. Also, it comes in a small container like this. And when talking about capfuls, which approximately are one tablespoon, two tablespoons equals one ounce. Also, when you're dealing with bromine, you also have bromine tablets. After you've added your bromine granular, you're able to load your bromine tablet float along with the one inch bromine tablets, and then you'll be able to make the granular bromine that you just added last longer throughout the week. Also, the next day after 24 hours of your filtration and the mineral clear working, you're gonna be going through and reducing your pH with pH down. pH down will take the pH from an 8.0 spot to a 7.2 to 7.6 pH balance. Also there is pH up in case you do have some sort of acidic water in your well, but typically this is used only after your pH has dropped down below 7.2. Later on throughout the week you're going to be using what they call Clear Shock. Clear Shock is an oxidizer that you're going to be using for your sanitizer. Your sanitizer after a week's use is going to become tied up tied up chlorine or bromine will not work well, so the oxidizer will free up the tied up bromine. Also, you're going to be contending with possibly some foam in the water. Typically what happens with the foam is you have foam that builds up on top of the hot tub when you go flip it open and you have a bunch of foam in there, so what you're going to be using is the defoamer. The defoamer you only use one ounce. You pour one ounce over top of the actual foam that's the heaviest part and you'll actually see the foam disintegrate and end up going through the filter. If there's still some foam left over in the water, you just go over to the heaviest pockets of the foam and just drop a little bit of defoamer on top of it and it should go away. Another product that we offer in our startup package is Clarifier. Clarifier is only needed when you have got your pH adjusted to 7.2 to 7.6 all parameters are correct and your sanitizer level is doing good. And also, you've already shocked the pool water and the water is still a little bit hazy, your clarifier can help it out by getting just a drop into the center of the pool of water and you will actually just use a drop because it is silicone based, you do not want to use too much of the clarifier for it will gunk up the filter. And that is it for your Spa 101 as a startup for filling 